All right guys, thanks for tuning in to this Diagnostic World video. Uh, in this video, we're gonna look at the ICOS of JP version 2.0 kit. We're in a Honda vehicle, as you can see here, where we have the check engine light. Don't worry about anything else for now. Purposes of this video, we're just looking at the check engine light, which is on there and also intermittently uh, coming on this little section here. Uh, the kit is available at Diagnostic World. It's www.diagnostic-world.com. We put the link to this kit in the description and in the comments box below this video. So the tool is plugged into the diagnostic port and the really really quick way to get the engine fault codes, there's a check engine right there, is to by simply clicking the OBD2 or EOBD section on the scan tool here. So I'm just going to click OK to that and this is the really quick way to get into it and read those fault codes. Mill status is on, that's a malfunction indicator light. Codes found 2. So that's a dead giveaway that there are fault codes in the system. Uh, click on to read codes and it's giving us P0353. It's a stored code, so it's a current, fold, uh, current code. Sorry, uh, Ignition coil C, primary, secondary circuit. So that's cylinder number three. Um, has a fault with the ignition coil. Uh, that's one of two. The other one is exactly the same, but that's a pending fault code. Generally, you'll get a pending fault code and a stored fault code. Uh, so that's the fault. We knew the fault was there. We've put a new ignition coil in cylinder number three. And uh, we've still got the check engine lights on. So what we need to do now is scroll down to click onto erase codes. Now when I do this, it's telling us the emission related information will be lost uh, or erased. I do wish to continue. I'm going to click yes to that. And then it's telling us make sure ignition is on with the engine off. So that's a characteristic of these Honda vehicles there. You need to turn the engine off, just one click put ignition back on. Uh, once I do that, just keep one eye on the check engine light, which is right there. So I'm going to click enter and it should disappear. There we go. Check engine light has disappeared. We're just waiting for the tool to catch up here and it's telling us emission related diagnostic information has been erased. So that's good news. And it's all thanks to the iCarsoft GP version 2.0 kit. Uh, what I will do, as I say, is I'll put a link to this kit in the description below this video and in the comments box below. Uh, so thank you very much for your time. I hope this video has helped uh, maybe if you're looking to, to maybe buy this kit and you're looking for maybe a demonstration of how it works or whether it will do as it says. Uh, so thanks very much for watching and I hope this helps.